Nobody's going to scare you. We already did it. The last time I was here was a little traumatic. I'm triggered. You were, you were, you were, uh, you were not expecting it, and so that's why we did it. This time you're expecting it. We're not going to do it. It would still, it would work. Yeah, it would still work. But it was yeah. wonderful. We had a lot of fun, and you, you. You had a lot of fun. Yeah. No, you did too. You enjoyed it. <laughs> I did. I did yeah. like it. Um, so you were here. I was telling you this during rehearsal. Um, Portia and I loved your album Golden Hour so much, and uh, you were here before. All of these, uh, you, you've won so many awards now since you've been here. And I, congratulations on everything. Thanks. Congratulations Thanks. on everything. Well, it's been fun. Yeah. It's been absolutely just wild. I know, I, no, it's like, it's amazing because you've been kicking around and you've got this beautiful voice and you're so talented. And it's funny how all of a sudden there's just a moment in time when everybody goes, hey, she's amazing. I think that timing has a lot to do with it. Um, and, and just these songs came at a time, I think, when we all needed a little bit of an escape from the chaos and the craziness of the, the political world, the social world, what, whatever. Just um, I wanted the record to be a little bit of a hiding place from that. And um, for me, it was. And I think that it was for a lot of other people, too. So maybe that's. I don't know. Maybe it's, that's what it well, yeah, you've got a beautiful voice. The songs are great. So many. Re but anyway, I'm just very happy for you. Thank so, you. So, like I said, you've you've won all these awards. You did this Christmas special. But there's something you did that is your favorite thing you've done this year. I want you to tell everybody what you did because it's very cool. <laughs> well, my sister, um, she comes on tour with me sometimes, and she does a lot of my photos. She's designed all my album covers. My little sister, and uh, so we shoot a lot when we're on the road and. Uh, it was the last time we were in LA, or a couple times ago. Uh, we needed to find a one-hour photo place really quick, and she she just found a place that happened to be open, and that could turn the photos back around in a um, in a quick time. So uh, it was called Tom's One Hour Photo. It was in Koreatown on Beverly, and uh, so she went. She dropped the film off, and she called me, and she was like, "This guy was so cute. You have to come when we come pick up the the film." you got to come with me. You're just going to fall in love with the place. I was like, all right. So, um, so my sister and I went and, um, and our friend Moani, and we, the place is amazing. It's, uh, it's been there for 30 years. He's been open since, I guess, 1990. But he does walk-in portrait sessions, and you can pick your own background. Um, and uh, it's just very nostalgic, the whole thing. Tom's a sweetheart, very, very hard worker. He's a Vietnamese immigrant, and... Oh yeah, there, there it is, there's our photos. But, so we came to get our film, and, um, and while I was there, snapped a portrait or two, and he has all these fun props. And I don't know, it was just inspiring to see somebody um, that was such a hard worker, and his business kind of has stood the test of time. But we were like, Tom, do you have an Instagram? You know, we need to, come on, we need to get your name out here. And he was like, no, he didn't. And so we tried in the store to set up an Instagram for him. I didn't know how to work the Android he had, so. Um, so we went home, and my sister and I uh, created an account for him. And I mean, it just amassed it thousands of followers within days. We were just kind of blown away. People were lined up trying to get they in the were, store. Yes, and I was like, man, there's this huge nostalgic renaissance happening. There he is, cute little Tom. And uh, and uh, I just felt like my generation would, you know, genuinely appreciate this yeah. business. And since then, he's had all these news stories. He's his business hasn't stopped. They said it's completely flooded and that it's totally turned around. Good for you. So, I mean, I, I just, I come from a um, household of small business owners. My parents are, and I, I know firsthand what it's like when people choose to put their money there versus a place that might be more convenient or, um, or bigger or whatever. And I don't know. I just I love I love small businesses. That's fine. Well, me too. I I love that you did that. Um, all right. So the the Christmas special is getting amazing reviews. I'm so glad you did that. Thanks. You'll probably it'll be a, a yearly thing. You'll do a Christmas thing. Um, it nearly killed me, so I'm not sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, it was great. Dan Lovey is the the narrator. He throws me shade the entire time. Um, my nana, she is um, she's a guest. My actual grandma. Uh, she came from Texas to be on the special, and she, she basically saves Christmas. So it's, it's really special. All right, well, it's called the Casey Musgraves Christmas Special. It's streaming on Amazon Prime right now. Casey's gonna perform when we come back.